Hello, my dear students. Uh, let us take one more example on uh, uh, active and passive earth pressure. So, let us take this. Uh, a smooth backed vertical wall is 6.3 meter high and retains a soil with a bulk unit weight of 18 kilonewton per meter cube and phi is equal to 18 degree. The top of the soil is level with the top of the wall and is horizontal. Uh, if uh, the soil surface carries uh, a uniformly distributed load of 4.5 kN per meter square. Determine the total active thrust on the wall per meter of the wall and its point of application. So here it is given that it is a smooth vertical wall with a uh, unit weight of 18 kN per meter cube and phi is equal to 18 degree. The top of the wall is horizontal. Okay. But there is a uh, soil surface carries a uniformly distributed load of 4.5 kN per meter cube means there is a surcharge load of 4.5 kN per meter cube. So how to draw so for if there is a surcharge uh, how to draw pressure distribution diagram this is the retaining wall and this is due to the surcharge that is Ka into Q and this is due to the soil that is Ka a into gamma into h so uh, let us calculate first ka because it is asked to find the active earth pressure so that is equal to 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi so uh, phi is equal to 18 degree so if you substitute you get 0 0.5 to 8 okay and total height is 6.3 meter and gamma is 18 kilonewton per meter cube and Q surcharge uh, uh, load is uh, 4.5 kN per meter square. So first uh, let us calculate uh, the uh, pressure due to the soil that is this portion Ka into gamma into H. So Ka is 0 0.5 to 8. So now we are calculating pressure uh, at the base of the wall due to the soil. Okay. So that is Ka into gamma into H. That is Ka is 0 0.5 to 8 into gamma is 18 into H. That is 6.3. So we will get 59.9 kN per meter square. So next step we have to calculate what is KAQ and here uh, that is uh, uh, what is that uh, we have to calculate the pressure uh, at the base so that is ka into q k is 0.5 to 8 into q q is given that is 45 kN per meter square if you substitute this you will get 23.8 kN per meter square okay now pressure at the base we found after that, we have to calculate what is the total active earth pressure. How to calculate that? That is nothing but the area of the pressure distribution diagram. Here there are two areas. One is rectangle and one is triangle. So what is this? For this half into Ka gamma H into H. So it becomes half into Ka gamma H square. And here this is Ka Q area is rectangle so kaq into h so when you substitute this what you will get half into ka is 0.5 to 8 and uh, this is uh, already calculated here uh, we got this uh, i mean 59.9 um, uh, into 6.3 okay so 59.9 is this value here we what we have got here 59.9 okay uh, into 6.3 that is height plus and rectangle portion that is 23.8 into height 6.3 so we will get 338.6 kilonewton now what we have to calculate, we have to find the point of application. How to find the point of application? It can be calculated or obtained by taking the moments about the toe. Okay, about this point. So, what is that? The total pressure, this is P1, this is P2. But total pressure is acting at this point, that is PA. But we don't know at what distance. So, we have to take PA into Z bar, that is equal to the uh, moment of the individual pressure distribution diagrams. So, here rectangle is there and triangle is there. So, 
Uh, the total active earth pressure is 338.6. So, 338.6 into Z bar that is equal to individual diagram. So, first let us take triangle. So, that is here. This is 188.7 into one third of 6.3. So, that is this plus and for this rectangle that uh, this is uh, 149.9 pressure into half of centroid is at the center so half of 6.3 so that is this so equate so z bar is equal to this 188.7 into one third of 6.3 plus 149.9 into half of 6.3 divided by 338.6 that is equal to 2.56 meter so the total pressure is acting active earth pressure is acting at a distance of 2.56 meter from the base okay so main thing what you have to do you have to equate the total pressure with the distance uh, in uh, with the, the uh, individual pressure distribution diagram moments of the individual pressure distribution diagram so you will get z bar okay i hope all of you understood let us take one more example um uh, this uh, determine the active pressure on the wall uh, shown in the figure uh, using the Rankine's theory. Okay, this is the figure given. Means here this is not horizontal surface. Okay, here there is an inclined surface. Okay, this is the given diagram. Here this is 15 degree they have given and uh, um, this distance is h by 3. Okay, phi is given that is 30 degree and we are is 19 kN per meter cube. How to calculate this? This is the inclined surface. I told in the while well, explaining the theory to find Ka and Kp, you have to use this formula. Not Ka is equal to 1 minus sin phi divided by 1 plus sin phi. We have to use Ka is equal to cos i into cos i minus square square cos square i minus cos square phi. I also we can write in terms of beta also so cos beta into cos beta minus cos square of beta minus cos square of phi divided by cos beta plus cos square beta minus cos square phi so phi mm, this beta is 15 degree so 15 into everywhere wherever b or i is there substitute 15 and phi is equal to 30 degree so we will get ka is equal to 0.373 here it is asked to find only active pressure so we have to calculate only ka so once if you get ka the pressure distribution diagram is like this instead of horizontal this is inclined that is nothing but ka into gamma into h so the total active earth pressure is area of this triangle that is half into base into height that is nothing but half into ka gamma h into h that is equal to half ka gamma h square substitute half into into k is 0.373 into this is uh, gamma that is 90 into h square 4 square so we will get 56.7 which is acting at a height of h by 3 from the base that is h is uh, 4 4 divided by 3 okay that is uh, acting and inclined at 15 degree to the normal so like this you can calculate what is active total active earth pressure in case of inclined back field okay i hope all of you understood let us take this example but you have to solve this i will not solve this try and we'll discuss if you have any difficulty while solving okay uh, so take this uh, uh, determine the lateral earth pressure at rest per unit length of the wall shown in the figure also determine the location of the resultant earth pressure take k0 is equal to 1 minus sin phi uh, and gamma w is equal to 10 kN per meter cube okay here this is not asked to find the active earth pressure it is calc asked to calculate the earth pressure at rest condition how to calculate k0 k0 is equal to 1 minus sin phi 
okay in some textbooks they have used a file instead of file they have used file dash anything is fine not a problem so i'll use one minus sign fun so one minus sign phi is equal to it is given 30 degree so we will get 0.5 after that you have to find at the different points okay this is the diagram uh, given I mean, uh, uh, this, uh, just note down this diagram, uh, phi dash is 30 degree here and gamma is 17 kilonewton per meter cube and here also phi dash is 30 and this is gamma uh, saturated that is 19 kilonewton per meter cube. Okay, so both are phi only. So already I have done this type of problem. We just uh, solve this and uh, while during the meet we will discuss. Okay, just take this problem and try to solve. Thank you.